Hello everyone! Today, we'll have a new lesson about types, parts, and functions of the computer monitor. A computer monitor is an output device that displays information in pictorial form. A monitor usually comprises the visual display, circuitry, casing, and power supply. The display device in modern monitors is typically a tin, film transistor, liquid crystal display or TFT LCD with LED backlighting having replaced cold cathode fluorescent lamp or CCFL backlighting. Older monitors use a cathode ray tube or CRT. Computer monitor works as an output device that help to provide output in the form of graphically and text as well. Some people are also known as the other name VDT or Video Display Terminal and VDU or Video Display Unit. These types of computer monitors contain the electronic circuits, power supply, and some buttons which manipulation all signals and help to yield result in pictorial shape. Traditional computer monitors were constructed by CRT or cathode ray tubes which were heavier and larger in shape. But today, use other latest technologies such as LCD, LED, and plasma. Some connectors are used for connecting computer with monitors such as VGA, Digital Visual Interface or DVI, HDMI, Display Port, Thunderbolt, and more. The monitor works with a video card located inside the computer case to display images and text on the screen. Most monitors have control buttons that allow you to change your monitor's display settings, and some monitors also have built-in speakers. Let's talk about types of computer monitor. Main motive to use as a computer monitor is for displaying output in pictorial form that is more readable and understandable to users. We have to use various matrices for measure the performance of computer monitors like as luminance, gamut, aspect ratio, display resolution, dot pitch, refresh rate, response time, and more. Here we will discuss about different types of computer monitors with classification of monitors and their disadvantages and advantages of computer monitor as well. First, the cathode ray tube or CRT monitor. CRT monitors stands for cathode ray tube and this type of computer monitors used in since 1950. In CRT computer monitor, implement the electrons beams for displaying in various areas of the computer screen. These beams of electrons help to illuminate the screen pictures numerous times in every second while getting motion in rear and front side rapidly. These CRT are not more expensive and display black and white images but have more reliable. Second is the liquid crystal display or LCD monitor. LCD has full name is liquid crystal display. LCD is also known as flat panel monitor. Its working principle of this monitor is images display with the help of series of monochrome pixels when light falls on those pixels. LCD monitor's resolution is minimum is 1280 by 720 pixel and up to 38040 times 2160 pixel. Main objective of creating that technology to be used in television sector, but now this LCD use in home appliance and every eminent example of this technology is calculator screen and digital watch. The advantages are have lightweight, 
portable and can be hung easily on the wall. LCDs have two color, passive matrix and active matrix. Next, the LED monitor are like emitting diodes monitor. LED acronym is like emitting diodes. Now this case, use these types of latest technology because it looks as flat panel. In LED, include different techniques such as light emitting diodes for using backlighting beyond a cold cathode fluorescent or CCFL. LED is more environmentally friendly as well as consumes low power compared to CRT and LCD monitors. The advantages are capable to produce picture along with higher contrast, have not negative environmental effects while disposing them, good durability, and do not generate more heat during running mode. While the disadvantage, it is more expensive. Next is the plasma display panel monitor. Plasma display panel has a flat panel display and mostly this is implemented in television display. In this technology, two clusters of glass contain the mixture of neon and xenon gases. Various small cells place in between those clusters. In this technology, gas in cell is electrically converted into plasma. The advantages are screen large and thin have lightweight and flat display, but advanced technology to LED and LCD, using seamless plasma technique. The TFT monitor or thin film transistor monitor. In this technology, is using the LCD for enhancing the picture quality over other past technologies such as CTR. TFT LCD contains pixels, but these pixels have on transistors that provide huge flexibility along with his control over all pictures and colors. The advantages are low power consumption and provide sharp images. The DLP monitor or digital light processing monitor. DLP monitors have two capabilities for providing high definition on the screen. DLP monitors working model as a similar to principles of digital micro mirror devices because these types of monitors are able to transform of its digital light with the help of millions of micro mirrors. These types of monitors help to provide 1024 grayscale type screen display and these display screens are more useful for playing the video games, otherwise for other video editing software as well. Touchscreen monitor. Touchscreen monitors work as a pointing put in device of computer because with using those touchscreen monitors, users can send input instructions by his hands, finger, otherwise stylus device. These monitors store all events and further proceed to controller for executing of their log events. On the touch screen, display various images or text. Users can create interaction between device and user while touching those images, otherwise other text. The advantages are Faster to mouse and trackball, no need other devices for providing input to computer as an intermediate between monitor and user such as mouse. The OLED monitor or organic light emitting diode. OLED stands for organic light emitting diode. These types of monitors do not use very commonly in the market. These are more premium model. The advantages are provide good picture quality along with white color gamut and highest refresh rate as well. More flexible and transparent to other monitors such as LED, LCD, and more. 
it is less power consumption. Let's proceed to the parts of the computer monitor. Monitors are electrical devices used to display pictures and videos on devices such as personal computers. They interpret electrical signals from computers and project them onto the screen. There are various internal parts of computer monitor screen, and every part has own special functionalities such as Okay, these are the parts of the computer monitor. LCD screen. Mostly computer monitor screen are liquid crystal displays which are constructed by thin film transistors. Layered glass. LCD computer monitor screen is made of various layers of glass which manipulates this light while displaying on the computer monitor screen. Another parts of the computer monitor are laptop stands. Thin plastic display stands have to use for LCD displays. Main motive to design for that computer monitor screen is to decrease the physical foundation for facing on the desk. Power connector. These connectors are used for connecting one component to other components. Interface board. Interface board has to use for entire control overall functionality of computer screen monitor. Reflectors and light sources. While using of them, have been projected light beam on the computer monitor screen. The amplifier screen, amplifier circuit, helps to amplify the all video signals which are reached on the computer screen. While the CRT or cathode ray tube, CRT has to use three major components are the electric gun, phosphor viewing surface, and finally class envelope. Then let's talk about the functions of the computer monitor. First, pixel. Huge amount of pixels are existed in the screen of computer monitor, which have small square from dots in nature. Some people are also called of picture elements, and when electron beams get more heat, then those pixels can turn on the illuminate mode. They can be empty with decreasing the intensity of beams, displaying the pictures on screen while activating the pattern of pixel elements. Every picture elements are stored in the RAM as code form which is inserted input with keyboard. Best quality of computer screen totally depends upon the huge number of pixels on the monitor. That means if more pixels are presented on the monitor screen, then picture quality much better. And those pixels might be different colors with their intensities, which help to display the picture. Next, best resolution. Better computer monitor resolution varies according to the number of pixels, which has to provide help for displaying the image on the computer screen. The total number of horizontal pixels is known as main resolution, as well as total number of lines which display on the computer monitor is known as vertical resolution. Frame Structure Frame structure is computer screen which have to contain fully information on the computer screen is called the frame. Frame rate must be higher for continuing images on the monitor, but one problem can be created like a laser flickering while high frame rate. The video bandwidth. 
With help of video bandwidth, capacities of computer monitor can be found. Need better video bandwidth for getting best output frequency to monitor. Next, signal synchronizing. All pixels take the form of picture while putting the beam light entirely on the display. This process has been done with using the well combination of coils which using for providing good strength to electron beams. Display images screen. Computer screen is totally covered to phosphors and image displays on it that scans over computer monitor from top to bottom with continuing without any hindrance until scan both pages. In this first pass, skip every line and in second pass, scan all lines that are missed during first pass and finally full image will be displayed. Non-display screen. In this section, all lines are ready to scan in one pass on this display. For getting quality images, need high quality display to interlace display. In the interlace display, all lines are scanned one by one from top to bottom line in continued nature. There are also measurements of performance. The performance of a monitor is measured by the following parameters. Luminance. Luminance is measured in candelas per square meter, also called a nit. Color depth. Color depth is measured in bits for primary color or bits for all colors. Gamut. Gamut is measured as coordinates in the CIE 1931 color space. The names sRGB or Adobe RGB are shorthand notations. Another measurements of performance, the aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is the ratio of the horizontal length to the vertical length. Monitors usually have the aspect ratio 4 over 3, 5 is 4, 16 is 10, or 16 is 9. Viewable image size. Viewable image size is usually measured diagonally, but the actual widths and heights are more informative since they are not affected by the aspect ratio in the same way. For CRT, the viewable size is typically 1 n smaller than the tube itself or 25 millimeters. Display resolution. Display resolution is the number of distinct pixels in each dimension that can be displayed. For a given display size, maximum resolution is limited by dot pitch. Dot pitch. Dot pitch is the distance between sub-pixels of the same color in millimeters. In general, the smaller the dot pitch, the sharper the picture will appear. Another measurement of performance are refresh rate. Refresh rate is the number of times in a second that a display is illuminated. Maximum refresh rate is limited by response time. Next is the response time. Response time is the time a pixel in a monitor takes to go from active or white to an active black and back to active white again. Measured in milliseconds, lower numbers mean faster transitions and therefore fewer visible image artifacts. Next, the contrast ratio. Contrast ratio is the ratio of the luminosity of the brightest color, white, to that of the darkest color, which is black, that the monitor is capable of producing. Power consumption is measured in watts. And the last two for the measurements of performance, delta E. It is a color accuracy is measured in delta E. 
the lower the delta E, the more accurate the color representation. A delta E or below 1 is imperceptible to the human eye. Delta E's of 2 to 4 are considered gold and require a sensitive eye to spot the difference. And last, the viewing angle. The viewing angle is the maximum angle at which images on the monitor can be viewed without excessive degradation to the image. It is measured in degrees horizontally and vertically. So that's all the learnings for the types, parts, and functions of the computer monitor. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.